Alright, <clears throat> here we are, episode four, I think. Let's load the game. I think it's this one. Um, I guess it's this one, who cares? Take your time. Alright. Let's head back to town. There's a couple things I think I forgot to do. What the hell was that? should turn on the music. Let's hear what that sounds like. Music. Let's hear what the music looks like. Hang on. Come on. Oh, I'm utterly enchanted. I'll keep it on, but I'm going to turn it down. That sound good. Big flower is really interesting. Hey, what are you doing sniffing around? I'm just admiring the big, pretty flower. <laughs> flower, rubbish. <laughs> That's not where I'm trying to be. Oh look, the hedgehogs are here. They weren't here before. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my lollipop on this honey. Good idea. The lollipop already looks a lot tastier this way. Another thing in an adventure game that I wouldn't have thought to ever do, but there you go. Thank God for my walkthrough. Let's see what these guys have to say. Are you the Hedgehog Brothers? Yeah, we are. How can we help you? I'm Jerry, Magician's Apprentice. Mr. Spitzweg sent me to ask about his boat. Ah, oh, Spitzweg's probably been waiting at the catfish barrier for hours. Unfortunately. Our tools have disappeared. They were brand new. I bet there's a green hat behind it. Ah, don't be silly. Our dad told us about green hats. We were four years old. Even so, they run around Marswood, they're invisible, they sting tools, and they open up drafts and cause you to catch a cold. It's a fairy tale. And all those little footprints everywhere, are they a fairy tale too? I'll take a look around for your tools. Thanks. That'd be a big help. <laughs> uh, 
All right, looking for tools. If we get the tools, we'll get the boat. If we get the boat, we get something. And then we gotta also go into dark wood. Talk about dwarves with the blue juice. I like this incidental music. This is really good. I should have had the music on from the beginning. Well, that's my life. <laughs> nice saw. Pointy teeth. All right. Did you hear something? These two guys, I don't think I need anything from them. Oh, look. You found a magic dewdrop. Wonder what these drops are all about. Oh. Alright. Yeah, there's different things you can collect. And I think it's also a card game in this game that you can play with people. I don't remember when that comes about. Deal with one another, uh, live with one another. In remembrance of the regular meetings held on this brook to reconcile the differences between mice, squirrels, and other inhabitants of uh, the woods. Other inhabitants? I guess that would include me if I lived there. Halt! Who goes there? Ugh. What sort of hideous weasel are you? Uh. I just need to get past you for a second. Yeah, sure. What's the problem? No problem. Just pay 500 leaf bucks. Now. That's what it costs if you want to cross the Cold Water Brook Bridge. That's how much the troll costs. You mean toll? No, I mean troll. Leave the talking to those of us who don't make mistakes. But if we did that, the whole world might go silent. Everybody but me, that's right. Huh? And maybe my babysitter, Anya, she says I'm an extremely gifted child. I can stand her, more or less. Well, almost. But how can we possibly negotiate if I'm not supposed to talk? Fine, fine. 300 leaf bucks. 300 leaf bucks? Oh, right. Must be a government of this kind of authority. Is there a magician's apprentice discount by any chance? Normally, magician's apprentices get financial aid. I have to cross the bridge for uh, educational purposes. Educational purposes? Discount? Be glad you have the opportunity to get through here at all. 300 leaf bucks, that's the fee. Pay up or stay on your side of the bridge. It's no loss to us. Hmm, I'll be back later then. No. What a little cutthroat. <laughs> I can't get into a fight with a little kid. I'm just too good-natured. I have to find a way to get over the bridge without dangling him over the side by one leg to teach him a lesson. Although... Nah. 
I'm so hungry. He's hungry, so we'll give him the lollipop. Mm. Dessert is always better when you eat it before the entree. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. Is it a honey lollipop? Okay, I'll tell you what. You give me the lollipop and I'll let you go through. Just this once. Deliciously unhealthy. Actually, I think the honey made it even healthier. Can't be. Healthy things don't taste good. Since when are weird weasels like you health experts anyway? Seems like animals can do anything here. I wouldn't be at all surprised by a weasel that's a health expert. What the hell? What the hell is that? It looked like Abraham Lincoln walking a dog and he was a ghost. Something was written in here, but it doesn't say nothing new is written here. Yeah. Nothing new. Why did it sound give me the writing sound if nothing new was written in the journal? Walk across. This is where the ghost was. And another. I found another dewdrop. Um. I'd better stay on the signposted trails. I'd get hopelessly lost in the fields. Hmm. The sun has really dried out the fields. A brief shower would do them good. A swift, cold, heavily babbling brook. Here we go. Oh my gosh. What was that? <laughs> oh no, someone is being attacked by a crow. Hey, it's Ursula. All right, all right, everybody calm down. Dry cupcake on the crow. Well, if the pigeons in the park go for this kind of thing. At least Anya's cupcakes seem to appeal to birds. Dude, just wait. What do I do? Examine the radio antenna. Maybe I can flick the antenna to chase off the crow, but I can't reach the antenna. All right. Large boot. Go for a large boot. There's a boot. This thing is huge. It smells pretty leathery. I wonder who lost this. Take the shoelace. The shoelace still looks quite usable. I'll take it with me. Okay. Use the shoelace on the radio antenna. Maybe I can use this to flick the antenna and give the crow a good whack. Go 
Gotcha. Drat, it won't budge. Oopsie. Oh well, who needs that antenna anyway? Hmm, now I can throw the rope just like a grappling hook. Leave the little owl alone or I'll let you have it. There, now you're in for it. Yay! No reason to thank me. I, Magician's Apprentice, Jerry Hazelnut, gladly help wherever I can. I saw everything. You're a hero. Not really. You're just like my friend Uli. Unfortunately, he's... <sighs> Oh well. Here, take this. <coughs> what is it? A flyer. A mouse has to make a living, you know. <laughs> he said I'm a hero. I'd better take you home now, Ursula. You can ride in my backpack. <laughs> she was still clutching a crow feather. Did Ursula pluck that from the crow? Let's look through my coin. Where's coin with a hole in the thread? Magic coin with hole. Well, that's the same thing, I think. Jesus, there's a million things to look at on this board. Alright, let's get to work. Here's a handwritten note. Beware of the territory. For as long as it's unsafe by the river, I will be broadcasting from the swamp. Mousewood Radio. The voice of Mousewood won't give up. Signed, Ludwig Borrower. P.S. All right, I do give up. Now the swamp path is flooded as well. I'm going to be off the air until it's cleared. The building is a shambles. I can't shake the feeling that the crows around here are pretty unpleasant company. The building collapsed. Looks like someone just pecked apart the ceiling and the walls. This is scary. Ugh, I can't reach them. A stick won't help here. Hmm, the front wheel is frozen to the spot. <sighs> Can you believe it? But the weather has been really strange around this tree for the last couple of weeks. What the hell is and that? Now, it's even started to snow up there. Oh, I've got too much to do. But without my mail bike, I can't deliver the mail. Who is talking to me? Hmm, that's the same symbol I saw in my magical letter. The sign of the tree walkers. Maybe somebody left that here because there is a tree portal nearby. Blue juice. Every keg a treat. Only two leaf bucks. Take a jug for some good luck. A quality product from the friendly wood dwarves. There's an asterisk next to the word friendly and some small print at the bottom. <laughs> the purchase or consumption of this wood dwarf product in no way obliges the wood dwarves to treat their customers in a friendly manner. Hmm. There's only one keg of blue juice left. Looks like Mousewood is running out of blue juice. Looking around. This looks like a little flight of stairs. But the mushrooms will have to grow a bit before I can climb the tree. Hmm. Then I can investigate why it's snowing up there. The large back there has burst its banks. Looks like everyone had to leave in a hurry. How cute. 
but it looks somewhat thoughtful too. It seems to be gazing directly at the flooded part of the edge of the woods. The sign says, path into the swamp, beware of mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. There must have been more mail to deliver here before the flood. All right, let's move on. What, what's this? A pretty flower. I think I've seen it on the label of one of Mum's relaxation keys. I'll grab a Let's check my magic shit. Hmm. I can go that way or that way. Let's try this way. What's that? <laughs> oh, okay. Another drop. Tell me, I'm gonna get them all. It's gonna be like Pokemon. What kind of stone is that? It is firmly stuck. No idea what it is. Hmm. Let's use the rake on it. But that doesn't need a sturdy rake. Fine. It looks like it was hit by lightning about a thousand years ago. Hmm. Somebody seems to have carved four openings into its gnarly trunk. Can I get through? Only a hollow tree stump with nothing in it. But I hear a whistling sound. The wind is blowing through the hollow trunk, moaning and whistling. It almost sounds like a tune. The organ music of the wind, the breath of the forest. Hmm, how did I come up with that? You're high. Don't tell me I'm a poet too. Poet magician Jerry Hazelnut. <coughs> Jerry, you, you crazy. Let's go this way. Come on. What the hell? Look at this scene. What is this guy? We have arrived. We will be the solution. Okay. Suspicious guy. Huh. Let's look through my magical hole. What are these scales? It looks like those stone eyes have seen a lot. Phew. Nothing here I can do. Oh, look at that. Part of the of course, uh, but the has to be here first. You wouldn't happen to be heading to the pumpkin patch on the edge of town, would you? If you cut my boat at the Hedgehog Brothers workshop, you would be doing me a oh, yeah. favor. Oh, yeah. No problem. I'll take care of it. I gotta find their tools. I complete the first leg with a traditional mousewood leaf boat. I got it. I ordered it, it got from it. the Hedgehog Brothers. All they had to do was float the boat down the cold know, water brook I know, to me. I know. But I've been waiting here for a while now. All right. I'd go myself to check, but <laughs> what if I miss the boat? <laughs> Fine, shut up. Oh. 
Alright. I guess I'll return Ursula. How did I get up here? There we go. I like the map how everything is basically a big giant circle. Ursula? Dad. I think she feels really comfy in my backpack. Where do I put her? I found your niece. Little Ursula? Ooh -hoo. A crow attacked her. Oh, -hoo. how is she? Tell me. Oh, -hoo. what the fuck? She's fine. I chased off the crow. The feather should me that you speak the truth. I thank you, Jerry. You are a true tree walker. That is what we call animals who help others in need. Oh. Good work out of you. Ah, uh, it was nothing. Oh, what is this, an achievement? Oh, an achievement. Bring a feathered family back together. And what is this other one? Follow the White Rabbit. Okay. I have two achievements. Come on. What is this? No, go back to the game. Resume game. What more can I do? I'm missing something. About my preparations for the treetop festival again. According to tradition, the apprentice must make the preparations for the treetop festival alone. Okay, and what exactly do I have to do again? Nestling, before your training begins, you must send out invitations and order the blue juice and baked goods for the festival. Precisely. You should speak to Anya Mouse. She is the very best baker here in Mousewood. What's it for? You'll find out once you place it on an envelope. But only stick it to an envelope once it has the invitation inside. And send invitations to everyone in Mousewood. Because once you've completed your training, the Treetop Festival will be held. Um, okay. But there isn't any blue juice in the cafe. Wait, what? No blue juice? Oh, something must have happened. Try to make contact with the dwarves. They live on the northern edge of the woods. Follow the cold water brook outside the town gate through the fields to the dark wood. At the end of the path, you will find the house of the wood dwarves. All right. I think I know enough now. I'll get back to work then. Good luck. Good luck. Alright, I gotta head back to the Dark Woods place because I think I forgot to do a couple of things there. I think it's this way. Yeah, my kid's gone.
There's the frog. Well, if it isn't Jerry, the promising young tree walker that everyone's going on about, you wouldn't have a f spell, would you? That's me. I'm still in training, you know. Spreads fast here. I hope you realize that I was only joking about the fire spell. After all, my bike is built from a matchbox. It would burn like kindling. Are you Plato the mailman? Well, if the packages don't get delivered today, I'll just be plain old Plato the frog. <coughs> Your bicycle is really stuck in the ice, huh? Well, I expect the ice will have melted by tomorrow, but that won't do me any good. Why is there if ice just there? If I don't deliver the packages there? today, they'll soon be out of a job. Hmm, maybe I can help you. Good luck, Plato. See you later. Thanks. Oh, what a nuisance. And I was going to go out with Anya tonight. Oh, I am responsible for them, but now my bike's got stuck here and there's nothing I can do about it. That means I can't deliver the mail. I've never been this late on my round. Would you like me to distribute the mail for you? Hmm. Her? You'd really do that for me? Sure. I'll be running to and fro all day anyway. <laughs> oh, that got that right. tremendous help. Then I can garden a bike. You know, my delicate frog's legs are better suited for cycling than for marching through the woods. These people are only five no feet problem. away. Consider the mail delivered. Alright, alright. Now. One thing I didn't try is the coin on a string in the vending machine. Okay, I really shouldn't do this. If only Mr. Churchmouse hadn't tied that thread to my coin. The temptation is just too great. It worked! Like with the gumball machine next to my school. <laughs> uh, not that I would know. I've just heard things. The last keg of blue juice and a little sticker. Bizarre. All right, hang on. I knew it. I knew I could take that fish scale. God damn it. Now I gotta go back to that path. Sorry, I was looking to walk through. All right, all right. Let's head this way first. What does the note say? Quarantine. Our housemate, Steinberg Woodwolf, has come down with a terrible disease. He is grouchy and grumpy and in a really bad mood. And now he is also sick and coughing and sneezing. Do not disturb. Until the quarantine, we are going to camp out in the cold woods on the muddy ground. Therefore, so and in a really bad mood. Production of blue juice will be discontinued until Steinberg recovers. Soft steel and logger, wood dwarfs. Huh. Securely locked. Hmm. There's a note here. The great Zaroff, clairvoyant illusionist, coming soon to a theatre near you. When and where? Strange. Oh. All right. It's a dead end there.
Clutter just explains about the dwarves. Huzzah! Well, there's one down. Alright. He gets something too. What is it? A perfumed letter? Special delivery for Mr. Burrower. Ah, my first fan letter. Dear Mr. Burrower, I am a long-time listener of your program. Hmm, one nice movie voice. True. Intellectual commentary. True. Cheesecake. <coughs> yes! Fan letter? But what a fan! As thanks for your delivery, please take a small promotional gift. Take this wonderful mug and say with pride, I listen to Swamp Radio 103.6. Mole in the morning, mole at noon, and mole in the evening. Uh, thanks. Alright, now I got a heavy, well-packed package and a letter that appears magical. No, I promised Plato I would deliver the mail fast and reliably. No, I promised. No, I promised Plato I would. De I guess they're not for her. Sorry. About the blue juice. I'm sorry, Sugar Plum, but you'll have to go ask the dwarves about that. They haven't delivered any in days. They live at the other end of the cold water brook in the dark wood. See you later. Take care. Who does this magical letter go to? No, I promised Plato I would deliver the... All right, all right. No, I... All right, so it's not him. Let me see if my journal tells me. How do I access my journal? 
This isn't my journal. Well, I don't know how to access my journal. A sticker. To see your collection, open the inventory game menu and click on bonus collection. You know, the game gets you collecting little things and cards and stickers and things to kind of entertain you while you're doing these boring quests, I guess. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, thanks for joining. I'll see you next time.